You know, over the years, I've spent countless hours doing just this, standing in front of my easel and working on a painting. Sometimes my collectors ask me, Tom, how long does it take to create one of your works? Well, I always say it takes about 30 years <laughs> to create a Thomas Kincaid painting, because really, I've been at it for about 30 years, and every painting that I work on is like a fresh work of inspiration, a new passion that I want to share. Christmas Evening is a large Christmas painting that I think carries one of the strongest statements of mood of any of the Christmas pieces I've done. In the 90s, I launched a series of Christmas cottages. This series actually ran for an entire decade, and many of those paintings became classics in their own right. I've become known to many people over the years for my Christmas paintings. I love the season of Christmas. I love the holidays. I love the idea of making family memories. Christmas evening has an interesting history. If you were to enter my home and wander through the various paintings on the walls, you would see Quiet Evening, one of the few cottage paintings of my own that I've kept over the years and put on display. Quiet Evening entrances me because of the sense of stillness. In fact, it becomes a favorite resting place for my eyes as I relax in the evening. One of the things I liked best about the original Quiet Evening painting was the way the middle distance opens up with the effects of mist. You have the idea of wandering back, following that stream, and perhaps coming to a pond or a lake in the distance around the bend from the trees at the right. I had always daydreamed about what that same setting would look like in the wintertime. I've often felt that to revisit a scene in a different season is to see it with fresh eyes. I gradually developed the notion of recreating Quiet Evening for a Christmas setting and entitling the painting Christmas Evening. Utilizing cool colors and warm tones in the highlights, I really got the effect of an evening chill. I wanted to add some interesting whimsical touches that really said Christmas. One of the first things I conceived of was draping Christmas lights on the eaves of the cottage. Quiet Evening did not feature a lamppost and I put one in for Christmas evening. I just had to have a place to hang that festive wreath that you see on the lamppost at the right. Of course, I needed a Christmas tree, so I brought in a tall blue spruce and festooned it with lights and a star up on top. Our jolly snowman includes a top hat and a nice pair of gloves as he grabs for his antique wicker broom. I enjoyed the effect of light on this painting as I re-envisioned Quiet Evening as a Christmas scene. I think Christmas evening contains some of the most dramatic effects of lighting I've ever done. When you dim the lights on the painting, it literally radiates with a special glow. I'm always experimenting with new techniques to create my lighting effects, and this one featured a color atmospheric technique that I call the color envelope. I literally create a shroud of misty color that envelops the entire composition. This involves many layers of glazing to create the finished effect. I utilize thick paint to capture texture which reflects the light. This is a very cozy Christmas setting, but it is also a large painting, and so we are able to release it in a fairly large centerpiece canvas. I always recommend collectors take the chance to rotate their art collection so that they can get the maximum enjoyment out of each painting. Perhaps at Christmas, collectors might take Christmas evening and make it a centerpiece of their home decorations. I always say, just like you bring out the Christmas wreaths and the decorations for the home, you can also bring out your Christmas painting and make it a part of your holiday celebration. 
I hope Christmas evening will be the centerpiece for many Christmas celebrations this year and many years to come. Well, as you can imagine, an artist works all alone. Day in and day out, he spends time in his studio creating something. But the real passion I have is the thought that what I've created can now go into someone else's home and be part of their family. Just think of the memories that are made as people gather in their home. And my painting might be there as, in a way, a silent messenger right there in the home. It's bringing a message of hope and inspiration to others. That's what gets me excited. That's what I call sharing the light. God bless.